Healing is very good, but it takes longer time to be healed than to live in health. If you do the things that are lawful, I'm not talking of Ten Commandments. I'm talking of healthy life. If you are active, you use your brain, your hand, your eyes, your soul, your spirit, your body, your feet, every part of your body. You can be in health and enjoy health without having sickness. No matter how many attacks come to you, you can overcome it and live well. And people ask me, you go to 15, 20, 13, last year I went to 31 countries in 12 months. I flew 8 months and 17 days. I was on the air every time, going from nation to nation, Korea, Japan, China, everywhere. And people say, when are you going to break down? Those of us who break through never break down. Amen. You understand what I'm talking? If Christ is the energizer, you don't need tranquilizer. Do you understand what I'm talking? If you can eat well, sleep well, meditate on the word night and day, think less of pounds, and talk more of Christ. Think less of evil things and think more of good things. Even about yourself. I heard Dr. Reed say tonight, you are the worst enemy of yourself. You are the only one who can tell yourself not to prosper. I live in Africa. Everybody say Africa is bad. I say no, it's good. Why? Because I'm there. <laughs> I live in Africa. They say everybody there is poor, minus me. <laughs> Why? I have a God who supplies my needs. I have a God who told me I was not born in a wrong country. I was not born in a wrong place. Wherever God raised you from is a good place. Amen. I can't run. I can't come to Britain to leave. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I visit Britain, but this is not where God put me. That's the word. You understand what I'm saying? So if, you, if I were to leave where God placed me to run here, then I'm running from wonderful good weather <laughs> to... <laughs> I never smoke unless I come to Britain. That's the only time I smoke. Haven't you smoked sometime when you don't have cigarettes? Yeah. You've never seen yourself smoking? Yeah. When you talk, the, the <laughs> smoke just come out of your mouth, October, November, December? <laughs> yes. Last year when I came here, I was smoking outside without cigarettes. <laughs> they say, how are you? And when I say, how are you? I close my mouth quickly because that was not cigarette. That's the weather in Britain. And I don't know why people are running from home to this place. You understand what I'm talking about? Same thing when people live here to come there. In Africa, we give people a warm welcome. Here, they give you cold welcome. But God knows where to raise you up from. Now, let's take these scriptures tonight and see how our own health. So the lesson for tonight is health lesson. Say health. health. So if we want to deal on on miracles tomorrow, we deal on miracles. If we want to deal on prosperity, on Thursday, we deal on prosperity. But tonight is health. Say it again. Health. One more time. Health. Good. James chapter 5. Listen to this. We are reading from verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? How many of you know that that's a question? <laughs> huh? <laughs> How many of you know that's a question? It's a question. Is any among you afflicted? 